on just training your biceps, getting you know, getting that peak in the bicep. All right. Before we start, we need to know that in the bicep, there's two different heads. If you're on my Instagram page, you can see it. If you still have questions, uh, Jeff Cavalier with Athlean X. If I ever have questions about anything, I always watch your stuff to learn. Uh, Athlean X, oh, is his YouTube channel. Jeff Cavalier, that guy actually takes freaking markers out and draws on himself, but he's got a freaking PhD and I think physical something. He knows exactly what he's talking about. Just trust me on that. Um, but yeah, if you need more information or need to see more visual of that, go on my Instagram. If that don't help, go to Jeff Cavalier's page, athleanx.com. And you got the short head. The short head is that peak in the bicep. That's on the inside part of the arm. On the outside part, up here on the top, is the long head of your bicep. That's going to be the mass of it. All right. So you want to hit both of those heads when you're training. So these are going to be done with the simple stuff you have. You can get at the house. You can get them at Walmart. So like I said, y'all, no excuses. You can get the stuff. Uh, the kit from Walmart for the two dumbbells, the two 20-pound dumbbells, is... Uh, 40 bucks no sorry you can get the vinyl kit for 20 bucks um this big bar i'm using i got for 40 and it came with 100 pounds of weight so the straight bar so i mean 40 20 less than 100 bucks you can get the stuff that i have uh and you just build up as you go and the reason i don't have a lot more right now is i'm saving up for a home gym knock a lot of that more you know weight out and another thing you can get is the interchangeable um dumbbells like bowflex or other companies make them. Athlean X even has some, I think. I don't know if they're for sale, but they uh, you click them, and there's different settings, and you can go all the way to like 50 pounds a piece for dumbbells. It's like 200 bucks for the set. So another mind and option. So our first workout is going to be a supination of the bicep. Now, supinating the bicep means you take this palm and you turn it. It's called supinating. And what that does is down here, I don't know how the lighting is here, but you can see the bicep move up and down and that's activating the bicep where the elbow flexion is so first exercise got your freaking dumbbells barbells whatever you want to call them you're going to do supinating all right it's our first exercise you come up and you basically curl it but you're supinating that palm and every one of these no matter what you're doing you want to do 15 sets or better okay it's like the magic number because you're doing a good, you gotta find whatever weight you want. Now these are 30s, which ain't much for me, but it's, I'm able to do, you know, 15 per arm. You don't wanna do one, two, and be like, oh, I got 15, no. You do 15 per arm. And you don't, you ain't doing none of this, going like this, no. You're gonna mess something up and not get big. You wanna keep your shoulder locked, come up, make sure you're supinating, come down, come up, supinate, Okay, no cheating on this. You ain't gonna see the results you want. The next exercise, I guess I can keep them in my hands, is gonna be hammer curls. Now it's best to have a straight bar with the two bars so you can hammer, but no excuses. You can use these and say, oh, I can't do it because I don't have the bar. You gotta alternate and just, you wanna keep it straight. Shoulder straight, hit that hammer curl. Next time you're in the gym, think, hammering down hammering those biceps all right third exercise same thing but you're coming across the chest now and it's going to activate it a little bit more by that range of motion and now these right here are that peak really um the first one was supination that's more of the mass these right here these hammer curls going across the chest and everything that's peaking everything out and then for our fourth exercise so, so far, we got supinating, and we're all always alternating with this, okay? Supinating the arms. Got your hammer curls across the chest, hammer curls, trying to activate that peak. Fourth one is probably the hardest. Not everybody's going to be able to do it. You know, find a weight that you want. I started with freaking 15s, okay? And obviously, this is not as much as I can lift, but this is, you want to get results, you're going to have to get those reps up and have a weight that's enough for you to activate that muscle all right so with these for our fourth exercise <laughs> this one's a little hard you come up supinate 
Then you're desupinating, coming all the way freaking down. And it's going to be for that forearm. You supinate, hitting that bicep, coming back down, and it's going to also activate probably a little bit of the tricep. But these are just a little bit more to get that, you know, get that muscle going, get that little extra work going in there. And another thing, do not do this, you know, going crazy. You see that one guy who's just kind of doing this, looking around, not looking forward to the next set, you know, just waiting around on his phone. You want to concentrate, get that mind-muscle connection. And you don't want to be rocking back and forth. You want to come straight up, turn it, straight down. You want to control it. All right. Last but not least, and I'm trying to, obviously, I'm not doing this, not a workout. Just showing y'all stuff, okay? I decided to make a video before I go out today. Um, this is the straight bar, okay? The thing I like about this exercise is it forces your arms to be in that supinated position. Do not do this, you know, out here, because you're not doing anything, you're probably gonna bust something. <laughs> so don't do that. You want your elbows tight, just like if you're doing triceps, which I'll make a video on eventually with triceps. Same style. So you wanna keep it with your bar here, and you wanna come up, down. Very controlled, and I'm talking while I do this. You wanna be breathing, okay? So I'm out of breath. You wanna get the muscles oxygen, so you wanna breathe, and you really wanna blow out when you're coming up. You wanna go, get the muscles, all that oxygen they need, okay? And same thing, do not rock back and forth. You're gonna hurt yourself, and you're not gonna get the results you want. Get the right weight. Like I said, this set comes with these 225s, 215s, and 210s to equal 100, okay? So I'm doing this rocking crap. Get it to where you control it, up, and keep your back tight, but keep those elbows, you know, that's what you're focusing on. Keep those to your side, all right? So those are your five exercises. Um, subscribe to the channel, like, comment, dislike. I didn't see any dislikes on the other video. And I'm sorry, it was very monotone. I'm not gonna lie with y'all. I just got up, I was tired. It's called the morning check for a reason. So like, comment, subscribe. I will hit triceps up hopefully this time next week. But I'll get back to y'all. Been Dan Ash, Dan Ash Fitness. All right.